some reason Amber's uh, dressed up <laughs> like a reindeer <laughs> with bear jumper, as you can see. I'm getting festive. You off. This is my semi-festive before the full festive outfits come oh, out. Oh, so this isn't a full festive. I guess the bears aren't particularly wintry. No, they are. They're wintry, oh, they but not winter festive. Bears. Okay. And then we've got a festive pop with the hat. Nice. And you've still got your earrings in. <gasps> Snowflakes. Look at that. Happy day. James got me. So we are just about to pop up, pop out uh, down the road. We're going to go and have some coffee, a bit of a bacon sandwich, but a yes. brunch. It's going to be good. Yeah. So we're on our way down to the coffee shops. We are actually this morning, oh, also we're in a new car in case that's confusing for anyone. Not a new car because we were talking about getting a new car, but this is not it. Our other car has just got in for a service. So we've got like a temporary one at the moment. Um, I always love trying out a new car, me. I love being in new cars. I'm such a car person. Well, of course you do. I know. James it's is exciting. Loves cars. Brum, brum. Uh, brum, brum. Um, so yeah, we are, this morning we're viewing a, another property for our fixer wrapper journey. Um, the first property that we viewed, we were vlogging on the day that we viewed that one, um, and it was just too much work for us. Uh, it wasn't like, just something that we'd be interested in. So I'm hoping the one that we're viewing today, well, I've seen the pictures of it and it looks like it's a lot less work, because really we're just looking for, you know, a Karis DIY transformation fixer wrapper. Not quite, a bit more than that, but... Um, You're definitely going to be getting plenty of traits for people to do the work. Oh yeah, but I, I just want there to be something I can paint. Yes. So I can be like... Um, you can paint the walls. I fix you stuff You can do house. a mural. Oh. Ooh, That'd be nice, so then, you know... Don't think we'd be able to sell that. And be like, whoa, look at this mural. <laughs> That's the thing, like, really, you should paint it all, like, white. Because, like, what's the most basic thing that people are going to want? Yeah, it would be, nice like, clean white. Walls. Yeah, like, clean ideas and yeah. things like that, but... I would want to nah, just add, not a pop of colour, but like, you know, the shadow yeah. white we've got in the lounge, just like a nice off white. I need oh, to like, I you think know. You need to do. I think you need to get your design eye out. Yeah, you know? that's what I want. Definitely. That's what I'm excited about. And so yes, for oh. those who didn't see our previous video, we yeah. are thinking of buying to kind of do up a house and to then sell on, which we're really excited about. I know there was yes. like a few comments on the last video about you know the ethics of buying to rent and that kind of thing, which we completely understand. Yeah. But I'm not too sure of the negative ethics of buying, buying a house that isn't suitable for kind of first time buyers and low income. Yeah. So it's very then, much. Yeah, sell on. But yeah. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But yeah, we're not. But it's something we thought about. We have. That's all I'm saying. We have. So we understand the comments and you yeah. know, they're not but they're not ignored. No, no, like that's not, it's nice to address them. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, but it's very near to our house so there's some really nice coffee shops kind of nearby so we thought we would um have a little morning go for a coffee we always say this snack. and then we're always late and yeah, we have we about late? 10 minutes oh, now okay. before we actually have to head off to the viewing <laughs> classic james and karis so we got some coffees i think this is the new christmas cup oh christmas look at that oh that's cute is it the same as the large one no, that's no, really yeah. cute, cute. I like that. Cheers. Cheers. What did you get? An Americano with milk. Yeah. Wow. I know. And they got their Christmas wreaths up, guys. They've had these up for ages, though, to be fair. Woo! Hello. Are you okay? You've, you've really sunk it into that sofa. At first, I said that. <laughs> <laughs> She's in a giggly mood. Uh, 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 this is a copy doesn't she? She goes, oh. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, now the camera's out, she just. I know, she just wants that She's so thing. camera shy. Uh, <laughs> um, so, we have been to the viewing. The wind is we catching have. me. I'm emotional. We viewed uh, two houses. We did. There's something to think about. One was worse than the other. One of them I'm like, kind of interested in slash excited about so I've got to calm myself down. It makes such a cute house though. The front of it's really sweet and like I could paint the windows and <laughs> I've got ideas running through my head. <laughs> Woohoo! We have come to Home Sense guys. James is on a call right now. Car. My car's in perfect condition. Is it's it? to be picked up. <gasps> the car's in perfect condition! <laughs> Sorry, I'm that really annoying squealing mum. Um, that just jiggles her baby and squeals the whole time. Um, so yeah, we're off to Home Sense. I'm really excited. Obviously, we have been in isolation um, and I have been going Christmas decks mad. This is, these type of videos always confuse me because 
you're already going to have seen a video in the future where all the decorations are done. We they are, are future, but they're past. Yeah, that's just weird. Oh. Oh. But I wish we were good enough that we could vlog a day and upload within like half an hour. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, we're all over the place. But yeah, the Dex video's already gone up, so this is kind of like back in the past of us finalising the Dex. Um, so yeah, I've just had to come to Home Sense to get. Just have to. I can see, the, to. I can see the Dex in the window. Hey guys, so I've already found some cute bits. They've got some really cute baubles in here. And also a little, oh. What about a sitting reindeer? Snow globe. We've got a snow globe, babe. A sitting reindeer one though. I'm a fan of snow globes. <laughs> James loves the snow globe. And then also a little Merry Christmas with a little hat. That's really cute, isn't it? We've got but a yeah. bauble at home, you know. We've got a what? We've got a bauble at home. What do you mean? Well, you, you, you said we've got a snow globe. I'm saying we've got a bauble at home. Oh, yeah, but we always need more baubles, then. But not oh. more snow globes. <laughs> no, not more snow globes. That's so cute. Okay, guys, next stop is the range. I completely forgot about this place. I know. I just forgot it existed. And I had a happy moment, you know? <laughs> I don't mind the range. The range is my favourite place on the planet, but it is hectic busy and especially when it comes to christmas i feel like you can spend hours in here oh get lost yeah oh. <gasps> late night shopping until 9 p.m how exciting oh my gosh i can just stay in here now till 9 p.m <laughs> this is great oh yeah monday to saturday yeah. Woo. oh look. christmas music is on let's go i just love the range because they have so many big like we've got a santa which you will have seen um, on the console and that we got from the range last year and they just have so many big decorations which I love because I feel like they just make a big statement in, in the house you know especially you know this this is what Amber's going to choose isn't it when Definitely. she's got a choice this is what the house is going to be full of Christmas decorations to want for your bedroom this is what she'll want <laughs> so Christmas shopping done decoration decoration shopping done house viewing done very excited doggy very excited doggy hello baby so good to see you hello well, oh you for like an hour hello you know you're supposed to be in the house now <laughs> hello 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 <laughs> she's so cute and we picked ourselves yes hello we picked ourselves up a McDonald's. Well, I couldn't cope staying in the range for about the hour that you were in there, so no. I thought I'd go and get a McDonald's to bring home. Guys, we just love a Mucky D's. Mucky D's! Hello, hello, hello. How are you? <laughs> oh, I don't know what the decorations are going to be like in, in the, you know, the next video now, guys, because this is my... Hiya! Hello! I've kind of set out, like, my standard <laughs> basic... <laughs> basic decks. And I'm about to kind of, you know... Add all the finishing touches, but you haven't seen that one. Oh. Woohoo! Oh. Haven't even got the tree yet. Oh, yeah. Woohoo! Yeah! So, McDonald's just has been eaten. I'm thinking about taking a little <laughs> meal out in a second. And Amber and Karis are just having an absolute blast over on the sofa. <laughs> and the Santa Claus watching down. <laughs> you act like a little meerkat, Karis, when you pop up. She likes it when you go. She's so cute and Amber's all right as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, so James has gone out with the dog. I've done makeup off. It's literally gotten to that time of the day. What a time even is it? It's three o'clock. The sun starts settling and I just, that's me, I'm done for the day by 3 p.m., 100%, especially in winter time. Um, Amber's gone down for a nap and making myself a cup of tea, festive mug and all. Oh gosh, I really feel like, the amount of festivities I've got going on in this house, I really feel like I need more than one festive mug. I've got one festive mug, like what? Karis? And then I also class this as a festive mug, but come on, for how festive my house is, I really need to up the festive mug game. Oh wait, hang on, saying that, hang on a minute. We've got Mr. and Mrs. They're very festive, aren't they? I lie, I lie. I have a couple. I've just changed into my protect your energy sweatshirt. Um, I don't think, I think by the time, by the time this video goes up, because they're releasing today, so this is from my Black Friday collection within the style. When we were doing slogan sweatshirts, they were like, think of a phrase that blah, 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 you'd love to put on a sweatshirt. And just, this is just what came to me straight away, protect your energy. It has, and I was talking a bit about it on my um, 
Instagram recently when I was showing the products and stuff. But basically it's just, it's something that has meant so much to me this past, I'd say this past year is literally learning to protect my energy. And I know things like this can sometimes sound a bit like, ooh, wishy-washy, like protect your energy. But really your energy is you. So like your energy is how, well, this is what it is to me anyway. My energy is like how I feel. Um, my overall like aura, my energy is literally my energy that I bring every day when I show up every day, the energy that I carry with me in life. And I don't think we realize sometimes, or I didn't anyway, how much negativity from people that we hang around with, negativity, especially from our own voices in our head and just all those other types of energies, negativity, stress, everything like that, we absorb them so much and we become that. We literally become the energy that we are around. Who are you hanging around with? Who are you keeping close? Who do you value? You know, who brings you that energy that when you see them, you feel valued, you feel loved, you feel amazing for who you are. That's the energy you want, keep that close. Who, you know, what things that you're doing, what hobbies that you're doing are, bringing you the energy that you want, keep them close, invest in that, invest in those parts of your life. And then also with regards to your own voices in your head, these for me were 100% some of the biggest changes I had to make. And sometimes I, you have to literally focus on the hardcore facts that if you, that knowing that in your head, if you are telling yourself over and over, when you're looking in the mirror, when you're doing things, I can't do this, or, so for starters, with like body image, the negative voices in my head anyway would be things like, oh my gosh, you look horrible today, you know, that outfit looks horrible on you, just a whole range of things that you can have with that. The more that that, that we feed that into our brain, the more we believe it. It's, that's literally facts. If you tell yourself negative things every day, you will absorb that energy and you will, whether they're true or not, it will take a toll on how you're feeling and how you're whatever. So sometimes I just like to remove the emotion from things and just focus on protecting my energy, which basically means that if I'm, you know, if I'm having a day where I go, I'm, I'm looking in the mirror and thinking, oh my gosh, you look horrible. I'm just straight away thinking, okay, whether that's true or not right now, what would protect my energy? Moving on, leaving that negativity there. I can have that opinion if I want, but it's leaving, it's, it's come out or it hasn't come out. It's staying there. Goodbye opinion. I'm shifting. You are not coming into my energy. I do not have time in life to have my energy ruined by every single negative thought that I'm going to come out with every day because it's going to be something every day, whether it be how much of a failure we think we are, how ugly we think we are, how much weight we think we've gained. Just pick it up leave it there, we have not got time, this is my energy, I'm protecting it. Get away, life is short. Create that energy for ourselves. So yeah, that's where my little slogan came from. And yeah, I love it, and it's definitely something that's close to my heart. Anyway, so what I'm gonna do is, while Amber's napping, I'm gonna do some last bits of the Christmas decorating. Oh, I'll actually show you what I picked up, I don't think I've shown you yet, what I picked up from Home Sense and The Range. To be honest, there was a lot, I feel like everyone, like mega started early this year. I feel like everyone's really organized. Is that the same as you guys? I feel like everyone I'm talking to, or everyone that I see on social media, like has their Christmas shopping done, like has their decorations done. And I felt like I could feel that in The Range. Like, it's not even December yet or it might be early December when this video goes up, it's almost December. And I feel like the range was like empty. They were like, damn, we're out of decorations, everyone's bought them. So, I've just got what I can, you know, I've still got an, a ridiculous abundance of decorations in this house, so I'm definitely not complaining, but there was, you know, less than I thought there was gonna be. Anyway, so let's take my cuppa over here. Oh, this little guy's from Home Sense. Oh my gosh, look at him. I did start collecting Christmas decorations. I've got such a range, but I did start collecting them very early. Um, and I've just got a massive range of decorations that I've got at different times. So these are my bits that I picked up from the range. 
Um, I think James has taken, well, James has taken the car on the dog walk and I think the rest of the bits from Home Sense that we got are in the car. So I'll have to show you those later. This came, I'm a bit obsessed with bows this year, guys. I don't know what it is. I don't even know like how these split into different bows. I'll have to check this out now. But I've become a bit obsessed with like bows and kind of, I think because I've gone for like the present idea. Let me just take like one of these little bows now. Because I've gone for like using presents as decorations. I just think... I don't know how it's gonna work. And I just love the kind of red and green as well. So I might use some of these like on the wreaths on the outside of the house. And I don't know what we're gonna do yet, but like that just looks so cute on there. And yeah, a lot of my decorations are sort of neutral, but then I love like a pop of Christmas color. This, right, I haven't actually compared these two yet, but this I absolutely love. But I'm so sure that this is, so this is from the range. And I got a Christmas pillow from, look, this is the center that, my little reindeer is very similar to you. Just leave him there for a second. I've also got obsessed with the snow spray. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna add that to multiple other places in the house. I've got another pillow from, where is it? Here. Oh my God, look how similar these are. I was thinking they were quite similar. I love that vibe though. Very, very similar. But I love that vibe a lot. So yeah, I'm thinking this pillow can stay in here because it's like a massive. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed, guys, with my Christmas village. Don't even, and they all light up. Honestly, you'll just have to watch this Christmas decoration video. But, oh my goodness. If you're like me, oh, look another little, I love that little snowy Christmas tree. I'm gonna fill the basket with some presents as well once I wrap them. So with the ceramic houses, some of them light up separately. So like, for example, this one came and lit up separately. And a lot of them do come and light up separately. Or you put in um, a tea light yourself. So like that has a space for a tea light or whatever you put in yourself. Now, because there's so many houses, if you're like me and you're just a bit lazy and you can't be bothered to turn on every single house, I just thread a um, fairy light. And then I only have to switch on, bing. I haven't done those two because those two turn on separately. But that's just so easy then, isn't it? So that's a good little hack if you've got loads of um, ceramic houses but you only want to have one button to switch them on. So I am decided on a dog walk with this absolute beauty. I'm actually loving the weather at the moment. It hasn't rained for about a week, two weeks now. And it's just like so, it's a really nice cold temperature. So, you know, it's hoodie weather. Maybe for a lot of people it'll be coat weather, but you know, I, I quite like being on the chillier side rather than the hotter side. But yeah, loving it. It's kind of cold, but not wet, crisp mornings, ice on the car, which is a bit of a pain when you start your day off. But yeah, do you guys like this weather? Is this your kind of thing? Or I definitely prefer hot weather, but I think you have to have the cold to then appreciate the hot. And I will probably now appreciate the cold for a couple of weeks, and then I'll be ready for the heat to come back, even though that's at least another eight, nine months from now, till we get a bit of, bit of heat in this country. Um, but yeah, definitely appreciating the cold for now. Look, new baby trees. Look how cute they are. I actually love the trees that we have kind of around this field and where we go into Cardiff to go to Root Park and stuff. Look at these baby trees. This is actually a super boggy area, so it doesn't really get used for like football or kids playing and stuff. So that's definitely such a sweet addition. Okay, so decorations are going well so far. I'm finding little different places for different things. This little tree looked quite cute here. I'm not finished with that window sill yet, but I thought that looked quite sweet there. So I just remembered what I did yesterday that I wanted to check up on in terms of the decorations. So I bought some snow spray and I've been obsessed with it. Like it's literally everywhere. It's all on like my wreaths. So that was like a wreath that I actually made last year and I just added loads of snow spray to it. And then it's also, which I still need to tidy under the stairs, that will get done. Um, oh yeah, this is the little house thing that I bought from Home Sense. Look how cute that is. Oh, someone's ringing me. One second. Had a quick phone call, I'm back. So, snow spray, I'm obsessed. Oh yeah, and I also put it on the mirror. What was I showing you? Oh yeah, my little house from um, Home Sense. How cute is that? I'm a little guy, even though James was like, seriously, do you actually need another house when you've got like a whole village in the lounge? I was like, mm, yeah, I know. Okay, snow spray, so I'm obsessed. I sprayed it on this mirror before actually thinking, what is snow spray and does it actually come off? Um, but it shows it on windows here. And like, I don't want to ruin this setup too much, but I did like smudge it and it does seem like you spray it out and it looks like snow, but it doesn't actually stick. 
so it just wipes off it's like not actually sticky so anyway i've done a bit of a tester which is hilarious because if this just doesn't come off james is gonna kill me um so in the gosh guys look don't even don't even this is all the christmas stuff i just oh i'm just ignoring it for now anyway so i did a tester here on this window <laughs> and i'm basically gonna wipe it off now like i just want to see oh so it does literally just come off but i'm gonna actually give that a proper wipe and see whether that comes off fully before going mad on all the windows in the house okay so to be fair that literally completely wiped off so easily so that's great also the garden is still a bit of a mess because we have the well it's not too bad over there but it's mostly just where we've got the garden room coming along guys oh my goodness it's honestly whew, i'm so excited the doors should be going in soon and then i clad in the front with wood and then it's not long and it will be done whew, i've got my wreath there my outdoor wreath is ready to be put on the front of the garden room good morning guys and welcome back to our channel who was up all night? You were, you were. Who was up all night? You were. Oh, and you're fine now. Morning. So, it's funny what. Is my calendar swinging in the background? Yes. Why did I touch that just now? Stay. Um, good morning. It is now the next day. James is still in bed. We had. A bit of a rough night last night. Got to whip out the festive, but not that festive mug this morning for a cup of Bit of a rough night last night. Um, so Amber woke up at about 2.30 um, and just wouldn't go back to bed for a couple of hours. So I think I was down here until maybe 5. Um, just chilling. She just wanted cutch she was just really clingy i don't know whether it was teething but not enough to make her be in pain so she, or you know maybe they just they go through these kind of you know leaps don't they where their brain kind of develops a bit more and they get more aware or anything like that and you know when they when that happens they can often become a bit clingy and a bit like oh where's my mummy and stuff like that and then they get used to it and then they go back to what they were like before we come downstairs didn't we with a bit of a party, party. And she's also scratched, scratched her head. Can you see it? She's got little scratches. What are those? What are those little scratches? Excuse me. So I wondered if she like, in her sleep, like scratched herself and then like upset herself and then couldn't get back to sleep. So that could be it as well. Ah, ah, ah. We are just doing some reaching practice this morning. I just noticed, I don't know if it's going to pick up very well. Hello, I'm pointing at you on the camera, but can you see on the uh, left side, her cheek is really red. Uh, ah, ah, and that's the little tongue. Uh, but yeah, she's got that super red cheek on uh, her. Right, you're right. Um, so it must be maybe something to do with teething as to why she was up in the night and being all clingy and stuff, bless her. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yes, this. So I just peeped there when I was showing you that, the Lindex box over there. Today's video is actually sponsored by Lindex. You probably saw, if you follow me on Instagram, my Instagram stories, I was going a bit crazy about the stuff in the box because I love Lindex. Loads of Amber's clothes have been from Lindex since she was probably maybe three months old. She's been wearing loads of different Lindex pieces. Um, and so when they messaged us a little while ago about working on a video, being in one of our videos, I was literally so excited because it's a brand that I just love so much. And they have women's stuff as well. I have stuff from their women's section, which is amazing. Their quality is amazing. The women's stuff, the baby stuff, across the board, the quality is amazing. The, the designs and everything are amazing. And the first time when Amber, I think, tried her first piece of Lindex when I was like three months old, when I was three months old, when she was like three or four months old, I posted on my story about it thinking I found like the new amazing secret shop and everyone was like yeah babes did you not know about Lindex it's literally just like the cutest most affordable amazing pieces I was like right okay so I'm the only one that hasn't heard about them then um so it's not just me that thinks it I can tell you now I had about a million dms okay that's dramatic I had hundreds of dms of people saying that um 
they absolutely love Lindex and it was such a good brand and all of that. And lots of people were saying that they loved the fact that it was like all unisex. So among the baby stuff, it's not that things aren't floral or aren't, you know, girl or boy traditionally designed, but it does, there's not like girl or boy section. It's just baby. Just dress your baby in whatever they want, whatever you want, whatever you like the look of, put on your baby. Freaking love that. They're down with the types, guys. They're just a great brand. Anyway, so this fluffy hoodie, the point I was making was this fluffy hoodie, which is like a hoodie dress. It has honestly been getting me through these 6 a.m. wake-ups lately. It is the coziest, comfiest thing. And they have a matching one for the baby. Should I put it on you? Should I put it on you? Oh my goodness, look at us. They're literally so cozy. Look at you, you big, big, cozy hoodie. Is it very warm? Is it? Mwah. Is it? <laughs> that is the cutest thing I've ever seen. So I'm like ready for the day, which I'm gonna get ready now. Um, and we pop that on. I will show you the rest of the bits that we picked up. Oh my, look at you. Look at you. Yeah. Do you feel cozy? Oh my goodness. <laughs> look how cute our outfits are. So Amber's got on one of her Lindex dresses. That is a cute festive dress, girl. And look at my outfit, guys. Oh my gosh, I'm absolutely buzzing. These two pieces match so well. So these aren't even Lindex leggings, but these are um, the other two. <laughs> the other two pieces are from Lindex. Firstly, just this year, I feel like it's all about gilets. These little puffer gilet things. They're so nice. They're so flattering. And they're like the perfect thing for if you're doing something busy, like going to get a Christmas tree, or just like on the move like I am constantly, you sweat when you wear like a big puffer coat. So I feel like it keeps you warm, but then it's really nice to like layer with cute outfits and also not make you like sweat to the high heavens and back. So yeah, this sweatshirt is also probably the nicest quality feeling sweatshirt I've ever put on in my life. And that's saying something because I own a lot of sweatshirts. Um, but yeah, I'm chuffed with this outfit with my Doc Martin boots. It's gonna be a vibe. I absolutely love having this dress. Do you? It's, so it's really sweet, isn't it? it is. um, Morning, boo. Morning. <laughs> I love how you just you can resist the matchiness. Oh no, I couldn't. I had to get me matching PJs. I had to get her the matching blue one. Did they not do like a dress in your size? I wish they did. <laughs> oh my god, you know I'd be literally in that matching with her. But they do have like this, which I'm buzzing to wear with her together. Oh my god, I absolutely love that. Are and you these. Wear it together with her? Yeah, I'm gonna wear it together. Nice. <laughs> and um, these, which is so cute as well. This is probably my favourite print from them at the moment. But yeah, she also- I love these. Yeah, she wears that all the time, doesn't she? She in a smaller size. And I, they got a head chop one. I know! Oh, come on, on the bum. That is just- I know, so can you flip it around for me and show them what they actually are? Because these are like really handy, practical zip sleep suits. Yeah, yeah. So they zip all the way down. So they're really, really good. And it's great because they kind of don't have uh, the, yes. the feet, so you can kind of use them during the day as well. Yes, exactly. So one thing we're really, really- in the back. I know, so cute. One thing we're really keen on is like her not, when she doesn't have to, not wearing socks so she can yeah, like, like when she's in the house and stuff. yeah, so she can like, yeah, it's just really good for their foot development, for like everything like that. Um, and kind of learning about how their feet work and things like that. So I'm always looking for things that don't have foot like coverings on the bottom. Um, so you can put socks on when needed, but then also their feet can be out. But then also it's really kind of like an easy outfit because you just zip it up. Um, and zip it on and all the nappy changes are easy. And there's a bear or a head chop on the bum. The designs, honestly, they just, I think that's why so many people love Lindex because they've got the cutest designs, but then also their clothes are very, very practical. And they just feel, um, they just feel such amazing quality, don't they? Yeah, they do. This sweatshirt, yeah. feel this sweatshirt, it's lovely. Oh, you, oh you're in all Lindex. I know, yeah. I am. Oh, it's nice. lovely, isn't this is it? This awesome. Yeah. Oh, I How love cute. that colour. I knew you would. That's so... That's you love so like an nice. olive green, don't you? Yeah, like I love colour but understated. Yeah. I feel like that's... <sighs> I'm just... I'm rocking it, babes. Hello. Yeah. You're tired. <laughs> just got to show you some other bits that I ordered as well. I got her some ribbed basics. You may have seen her in like loads of these pieces in her smaller sizes in the past. Um, and she was wearing this yesterday as well. I forgot to say that this was from Lindex. And she was wearing with this the matching like leggings to this, which I love, but this one's dirty. It's got little boogies on it, love that. Um, but yeah, this material is gorgeous. I think they've got a couple of colors in this, but all their ribbed basics as well are like just the best. Oh, right. what's your favorite piece? Okay, are we going to get a Christmas tree? 
Is that why you yeah. got your little Christmas strap? on? Although I think it's cold enough for you to get your pram suit on as well. Oh, yeah, she's going to be wearing a pram suit. We're not going to see the pretty Christmas outfit when you're out shopping. I know, that's the sad thing. It just gets covered in a pram <laughs> suit. Oh yeah, this one's your favourite. Mine too, mine too. Oh gosh, can you imagine? Give it like, you know, 10 years time. She'll be like, oh, I don't want to match with you. Oh my God, don't say that. You're always going to want to match with me, right? 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 No. I don't want that day to come. Oh, she's pulling my hair. I'm over it. We've arrived at the Christmas tree farm. Um, see some Christmas, what? There's absolutely neither. <laughs> There's no one here. <laughs> I think James is trying to make a point that no one's getting their Christmas trees this early. It's not even early. It's literally a couple of days before December and it's December by the time you guys see this, so. Hello. Hi. Hi. Look at you all snug as a bug in a rug. Snug as a bug in a rug. We just met um, a really lovely follower, so that was lovely. Um, and she's just picked up loads of like Christmas tree bits to make loads of wreaths and like do some craft. I was like, babes, oh my God, that sounds like a bit of me. We need to sign up. But I love how um, quiet it is here. I feel like we're gonna get a really See, good look. We came here a couple of years ago. Trees. Did we? And it was packed. We had to park all the way down there because the car oh. park was completely full. Is this where we chopped a tree? Yeah, this is where we chopped a tree. Oh my God. Yeah. It was heaving. How come it's not? Because it's not, we came on 1st of December maybe? No, well we came in December. Yeah. So clearly... N and it's currently not December. It's like a few <laughs> days before. It's basically December, guys. You need to come now because it's very quiet. And the media's doing the whole scare tactics, like Christmas trees yeah. are going to run out. Well, don't you worry. We're going to be getting one. The place is great. I don't remember it. Well, maybe like James said, maybe it's because it was so busy last time. Hi! determined to get a tree yeah so we and, just like, not enjoy ourselves but it was also like you said it was raining yes it was literally pouring with oh, rain i remember yeah we were vlogging oh my god that was like years ago that i, I remember that so vividly yeah. there is one for you yeah yeah because we were in the old house yeah and our massive car oh look at this um so yeah they have like different trails so we're currently on something called the elf trail yeah. don't really know what that means but basically you like walk around you make like a little event of it so you can walk around spot the christmas trees they're nowhere at the moment <laughs> you walk through here um and then <laughs> yeah these aren't very christmas tree <laughs> oh what so cute and then i think when you come out the end here there's loads of christmas trees some are pre-cut um and things like that and you can basically just get a sled put your tree in it that you like and pick one this is so exciting and it's such a lovely gorgeous day and no one's here we have been blessed it has been. We have. i actually booked an appointment to come oh, you have to book oh yeah so I, I booked in it was I worth it non-refundable deposit <laughs> you get off the christmas tree when you buy it right this is great for kids oh that's so sweet this is yeah, peace though it is i know it's great for kids i you like it like it. That's the moodiest face I've ever seen. <laughs> Don't seem very into Christmas trees. You haven't gotten there yet. You will be mesmerised. Don't you worry. Put your letter in for Santa. There we go. Amazing. Yay. Good girl. What's Santa going to get you? I think he's going to get you an elbow. <laughs> Can you tell her? And a rocking chair. <laughs> a rocking elephant. Oh, a rocking elephant. I was going to buy yourself something. <laughs> a rocking chair for me to feed you in because my back's in pieces. So we've gotten to the end of our trail. And there's a little coffee shop. So we're gonna get a coffee before picking our tree. Oh, guys, look. Oh my goodness. Hi, Good morning. morning, how are you? You all right? Wow, these look amazing. Hello. <laughs> oh my goodness. What? I think it's... it smells amazing here. Yeah. Oh, my days. Oh yeah, it does, doesn't it? It smells so good. These decorations are so sweet. Wow, the little glittery reindeers, oh my goodness. Oh, gosh, I love Christmas. So we've got our goodies from the shop. Got a little Christmas tree cake. We're just looking at some Christmas trees. We're looking at a little look at the pre-cut ones because they got loads of pre-cut. I can't believe how quiet it is, it's amazing. <laughs> um, but yeah. I feel like often everyone sees a good one, they're like. <laughs> Grab the good one. Grab the foot. Oh, that's quite a good one. That is quite good, isn't it? We always seem to get it wrong. We, we always seem to think we've picked the perfect tree and we get it home and it's like really gappy. And um, last year we had to it's cut the top off, off yeah. um, and we had to cut loads of branches off. So we always get it wrong, to be honest. 
whatever one we think is perfect, it ends up being a nightmare. But this one, I feel like, is calling my name a little bit. Nice, isn't it? Maybe we should look down here. They've got loads more. Just got to check them all and be certain. Okay, guys, we have picked the tree. It's in the sled. Get ready. Ding, ding, jingling too. Come on, it's lovely weather for a sleigh ride together with you. So Amber's down for a nap. James is sat at the table here doing some work. Hello. Um, hola. I thought I would run you through some of the bits that I got from Lindex that I haven't showed you that. Obviously I've showed you a couple of the bits that Amber had and I've been wearing my Gilet and sweatshirts. This is honestly, like I've been so, like I'm kind of having one of those, what's it called? Revelation. Reve revelation. Where you're like, why? Why have I not just worn these? I was just perfectly toasty and not sweaty all day. It was amazing. It's quite um, nice having the shoulders out and the it arms. It is. Yeah, you feel free. Yeah. But toasty. Yeah, like, your your nipples stay warm. I know. Your arms stay cool. This is, it seriously is perfect. Um, so yeah, I'm loving this. It's got like fleece lined pockets and everything. Like I said, the quality and everything's amazing. Um, and I also have like a staple. I'll actually just try this on. That'll be easier. This this is so nice so this is like a staple i have been staple, like a, it's a just a staple not from a staple a staple um winter coat honestly and like i love this bit here it's really nice i don't know if you can, that's a bit better there um that's really nice i like it when it has like a soft bit that touches your skin like by your neck because i've got really sensitive skin so that feels really really lovely on my neck but then it also is like waterproof and it's got a hood. I love where the pockets are placed. A lot of the time on these longer um, sort of puffy coats, the pockets are in an awkward place and you spend your whole time getting your hand into them. That is exactly where I feel like they've perfectly thought about where your hand lies um, when it's in the coat. So yeah, I love this. And I also was really looking for one that wasn't too shiny. Um, I wanted one with more of like a matte texture to it. So this just ticked. It ticks all the boxes. I feel like this is literally like the classiest pyjama pair I've ever put on in my life. <laughs> Look! A little hooded, silky soft tie and you can end, like obviously I'm just wearing a bra so that's not ideal, but you could wear it like undone with a little PJ top underneath. These bottoms are so nice. They're so stretchy, love the drawstring, the materials and everything. Like I said, the quality is just, the quality is just always so nice with every piece. Um, and I've also got this in like a really soft purpley fabric. And then I got some other PJs. Their PJs and loungewear stuff is just so, I mean, I keep saying this about all their products. I am just a big Lindex fan, big, big fan. Um, but I love their sizing as well. So I think their like general just fits and everything um, are really comfortable. Like I feel like every product they've done with very, very comfortable fits. Now I'm usually between a medium and large, so I'm a UK size 14, a 12 to 14, mostly 14, and then I'm a medium to large, mostly large in bottoms, um, and it depends, doesn't it, on stretch and everything like that, but I'm usually around a medium to large. I would 100% wear medium in everything Lindex. Um, it has a lot of stretch, um, the sizing I'd say on it, like in general, is quite generous. Um, so yeah, their sizing for women's is done like that, like medium, large and stuff. But the baby sizing, sometimes it can be quite confusing um, if you don't know how it's done. It's done apparently by length, I think, of the baby. So the number that you see, which can be like 50, 74 or whatever the numbers are, is to do with length. But if you just click size chart um, on every product, it'll have it. Um, it'll relate the number to, so like zero to one months is... 50 i think or something like that um so amber at the moment is wearing size 74 i believe or 80 um which is around nine months or something like that six i don't know you know I, it's on the size chart i just follow the size chart but yeah that was the other thing that i wanted to say and then the other thing that we got amber that i love is i had to get her another one of her swimsuit so she has this in one of her smaller sizes and it was just the such a good swimsuit because it was like one of the ones that was well i always get this wrong upf or whatever the thing good is for being in the sun we took this on holiday she absolutely loves it and so i had to get it in a bigger size for like all her swimming classes and stuff so yes i ordered a range i hope you guys enjoyed my little haul thank you lindex for working with us as you guys can tell and as lindex already know i'm obsessed with them as a brand and everything and um, i will leave all the information in the description box and all the links and everything um, and yeah happy shopping you won't regret it and thank you, Lindex.
I love you. So, James is just grabbing the Christmas tree. We've got our little Christmas tree over here. And I've got my little festive baby girl here. Hi, look what you're wearing, oh, you little absolutely. festive cutie. I didn't realise that her favourite, oh, my favourite little swimming costume of hers. Yeah, it was Lindex. I know you've got the bigger size. You're ready to go swimming again on Saturday. Ooh, yes, hello, Mila. Back to swimming class. Swimming, you love swimming. Good evening. It's a little bit later on now. Um, we, I did intend, oh my gosh, let me just, let me just, bing. Did that work? Oh, yes, it did. Oh, yes, it did. Can you see my snowflakes? Sorry, can I just say that I put on some Christmas music that has just been turned off. Sense the baby. I'm just saying. I want a young baby that's not. Did you put that on? I thought that was on the radio. It magically came on. I thought it was on the radio. I thought that was a bit much for radio. Yeah, unless it's like heart. And then I have a pack to put on a Christmas radio station. It's the same thing. Yeah, I know. To be fair, James shows his festivities in other ways. Like, you have been putting on Heart Xmas since about mid-November. Hey, You're basically more festive than me, mate. You just won't admit it. I, I do admit it. I no, you do. He does. I do. I do make you be, to be out to be grinchy. Because I think I'm, like, embarrassed about my Christmas decoration. Because that's, like... You can be really festive and not want to decorate as much as me. Whereas I like try and make out that James is a Grinch because he doesn't want to do that. When actually you can still be really festive and not have to have the whole house covered in. I'm in happy for you wreaths. to decorate. Oh no, I know you are. I just, I just don't enjoy the decorating side of Christmas. You know. Yeah. I'm happy I feel like... listening to the Christmas tunes. Yeah. Having the hot chocolate by the fire. I like doing the tree. You I do. Like you like doing Christmas. the main things. Yeah. You just don't feel the need to put a wreath on every wall and window, exactly. which is normal. Which I think is quite normal. It is very normal. But I feel like, I was thinking about like, why do I enjoy decorating so much? Like, why do I enjoy... Because you have no house... spare times and no life outside of the house. Excuse me, take that back. I have a thriving life. Okay, I've been isolated, which is why I have done the decks so well this year, but that is not true. I've got a thriving life, thank you very much. My mum friends, me and my mum friends and my other friends who aren't mums. You could just say you and your friends. Me and my friends. And family. And family. Am I putting the oven on? Um, yes, please. What was I saying before that? Um, no, what were you saying about me? That you have no life outside the house, which is why you decorate. Oh, yeah, I was saying, why do I like decorating so much? I think it's like my creativeness coming through. So I love, like, that's why I love doing my DIY transformations. I'm like, I love mixing things up and changing house decor and things like that because I love, I don't know, my mind just works in that way. And I just love, I, I just literally love how the decorations, like how the colors come together and how they look and like the snowflakes on the window. I loved like creating the pattern with a little stencil and it's very artsy and craftsy really, isn't it? It is. Isn't it? It is. Why are these sweet potatoes like half shredded already? Dirty All the sweet potatoes. <laughs> they're not dirty, they're just, half the skin's like peeled off. So we are prepping some food for Amber. Um, when she wakes up from her nap, I have been corrected in the comments. Oh, you got abused, girl. Did I? Oh, people were like, you idiot. You don't say that you mean. You're an idiot, mate. I know. That is honestly probably what people were saying. But I saw, you know, a few. Actually, yeah, they weren't that nice. But <laughs> <laughs> whatever. I, I decided to read them in a, you know, nice way. Yeah, basically, I always say... I'm weaning, like, oh, I'm, I'm making food for Amber's weaning. And I get that weaning isn't the right term to use there. It's not. No, I guess it's not because, well, it's her weaning journey, isn't it's it? Fine. But you, you wouldn't say I'm weaning Amber. But is that what we're saying? Is that the point? I do say that, yeah. I'm like, I'm going to wean Amber. Accustom an infant to food other than its mother's milk. So I guess the whole process in itself would be I'm weaning Amber. Because technically every time I feed Amber, I am weaning her because she's not yet off milk. Yeah. Does that make sense? Say, I'm giving Amber food because we're weaning her. And I don't see why that can't turn into... I'm weaning her. her. Yeah. No, I guess it could be still that. 
Woo! I was correct! I'm not sure if you were I don't think I was, I but... I don't think it's so blatantly obvious. No, I guess it's not that obvious, but I could just say I'm feeding. Loads of people do that. Oh yeah, we're, we're weaning tonight. I say weaning because otherwise if I say I'm feeding her, I automatically think milk. Yeah, gas feed, yeah. Yeah, or like bottle or whatever. Like, that's just what I think. When I think feeding a baby, I think of milk in whatever form that comes. But when I think weaning, I think like solid yeah. foods. Like if I said to you, Cass, have you fed Amber? I you think. Assume, uh, oh, like when did you last feed Amber? You'd assume milk. It was, it was milk. Yeah. Defo. I'm gonna change the battery. Actually, I'm not. I am gonna change the battery, but I'm not gonna be back because I will just ramble the whole night. Uh, look who's awake! Not bad. <laughs> James is exhausted. We've been singing Christmas songs every day. Do do do. She's just woken up. She's literally like, go away. Go away, mom. Go away, mom. <laughs> so we have done some omelets. Some... Right, this is James for you. Yeah, James is feeling exhausted, as you did. My omelet. I must save my omelet. Morning, guys. Happy 6 a.m. Happy fresh start to the day. Mm, I do not feel fresh. I love how she's like peeping around the court. She does this thing where she like, Hello! <laughs> oh. Hello! <laughs> Hi! Oh, she breaks me. Also, I've been wearing these. So these are the Lindex PJs that um, I showed you yesterday. I think I just showed you them on the chair. Showed you them on the chair. Oh my goodness. I've been wearing these all last night and this morning. Highly... Highly recommend these ones. These are definitely a bit of me. So I've tucked in the top, which is actually like, can be full length like that. It's just the material is like exactly what I love in a PJ. It's just soft, um, really stretchy. It's got that, I don't know, just kind of like silky, like curry feel into it. It's really, and like the, the bottoms are really, really flattering. They're really, really flattering on the bum. They just like stretch and mold and they're so, yeah. Sometimes you just don't know if a PJ is the perfect PJ or the drawstring's real as well until you put it on and this is just my 10 out of 10 perfect PJ. I love it. So comfy. Good morning. What's those excited arms doing? Good morning. Are you playing with your treasure basket? You've got a Christmas sock. Oh my. Whoa. Look at your little bare bottom. Your little bare bottom. She won't stay in tummy time for long. She just tries to roll straight away now. When she's sitting now as well, she's like rocking forward. She's like doing all the things and she's like practicing learning to crawl. You wanna come this way? Oh, you're really trying today. Usually in um, good girl. Oh, there we go. She's off. See ya. Bye bye. <laughs> well, she'll just stay there for a while. She's definitely not a fan of being on her tummy. But as you guys know, she loves to sit. So she started like sitting and like rocking to like, like roll forward almost, sort of fall forward into crawling position. So we just made Amber some avocado on toast. She's trying her first piece. Tasty wasty. We love an avocado on toast, baby girl. You'll be my daughter if you love it. So we just giving Amber some food. Um, we have had a bit of a busy morning. It's actually Black Friday today. And we didn't know we didn't realise, but um, we wanted to pick up a present for someone else, a family member, but then we ended up picking up ourselves a toaster in the Black Friday sale because we're getting old, guys. I put this on my Instagram story saying, you know you're getting old when you're out Black Friday shopping at 8.30am getting a toaster and being buzzing about it. I'm so excited for this. Same. I'm going to show you. I've been playing for a little while and it's just so nice to have like a fresh appliance you use every day. Yeah, so we did get a new um, microwave recently because both the microwave and toaster we had from our old house. So they've been doing us good, but the microwave broke and then soon after the toaster broke. So um, like one half of the toaster is broken and it just yeah, like fuses like the house. <laughs> so we were like, right, we'll treat ourselves at the Black Friday sale to a toaster. Um, and then we also went to B&M and picked up, well, I picked up these yesterday from the Christmas tree place. And I also, I can't remember whether I showed you or not, but I picked up this really cute reindeer decoration as well, which I love. Um, and then I picked up some bits in B&M. We've got some baubles because me and James are decorating the tree tonight. I'm so excited. We're going to put a Christmas movie on, Ooh. get decorated. It's going to be lovely. It's going to be so can't really help this year. Is she enjoying yeah, she's that? Really she sounds like she is. She does, doesn't she? She's moaning with satisfaction. <laughs> 
Yeah, that's what we all do when we eat, babes. And then I got this mug, which is so cute. Look, it's got a little biscuit here. Look how cute that is, James. It's a mug with a little slot for a biscuit. Yeah, honestly. We never have biscuits. No, this is the perfect you reason have to have... What do you mean we never have biscuits? Yeah, you're right. It would be just a block of dairy milk in block there. Block of chocolate. <laughs> and it's cute, kind of, though. Yeah, and then... Yeah, Boo. That's it. No, it's a cute idea. It's a cute, it is a cute idea, actually. But yeah, I didn't really think about how you drink it. The biscuit just falls on your face. <laughs> or falls out the front. It's like when you're finishing it off at the end, it's like... Yeah. You haven't finished all your biscuits. Out. All that week, yeah. Um, and then I also got some window stickers, which I'm really, really excited about because I have been doing my snow spray, which I'm absolutely loving. Like I've done so much of it and I think it's really effective and looks really, really nice. Even James has been complimenting my snow spray, guys. But it is quite messy. It's like even James. I'm Sorry, I know, I know. I'm being a meanie. You're making me sound grinchy all the time. I know, I'm sorry, I won't do it again. James loves snow spray. Thank you. All the time. Um, but these are obviously similar effect, not quite as snowy, um, but obviously gonna be much easier. So I'm interested to see what these are gonna look like. So I'm gonna put them on the window in a bit. But it's time for some more avocado on toast, I think. Guys, we have the new toaster up. Yeah. Kind of semi-matches yeah. the handles. I'm vibing it. I like the fact we can have this way. It definitely takes up considerably less room. Yeah, like no, it does. Like the bread bin across and stuff. We've slid it all across. Loads of space. Goes nice with the shelves. Yes, yeah. oh, I love it. It looks great. And what we thought was so good, so obviously we have quite big bread. I think everyone has quite big bread. It kind of <laughs> hardly fitted in the smaller slots. So now, if we're just having two pieces, it's got lots of room to cook. And then oh, hopefully... you're meant to be able to put, yeah, four in. <laughs> so, that should be you interesting. Will. Hopefully we will, seeing as Carrots always has at least three pieces of I toast do. at a time. Honestly, what's the point in toast if you're not going to have three pieces? <laughs> also, the quickest update on the garden room. Work has halted yes. for about the last three or four days. We are just waiting on the doors to come in stock. Um, they were meant to come in last week. I think it's been an issue with like kind of lots of things within the building industry and trade and stuff. So we were just really waiting basically for the doors to come in and for then the plastering to be done. So I did say the plastering could happen without the doors. So I think the plastering is definitely going ahead next week. And then the doors just as soon as possible. He said he's pulling his hair out, kind of trying yeah. to get to grips with where the, where the doors are. I was going to say yeah. a B word then. Yeah. Won't exactly. be long. I'm doing my window stickers. You go, girl. It's a great day. <laughs> so we're just back from a lovely dog walk uh, with my parents. I decided to give Amber some berries when <laughs> um, I was cooking. And um, I didn't really think it through. What? And Has Daddy She's done? in absolute state. What has Daddy done? Raspberries everywhere. I clearly thought um, I suddenly had a two-year-old who was able to consume food or something. I don't know what age they actually start. Oh, no, she being able to consume it. food without being all over themselves. But that's I've learned my lesson now that she just needs to go in the high chair even if I'm giving her a bit of fruit. It's like a snack. But this is why we love this mat. It, it just wipes off. Down. I know. I know. Happy days. Happy days. So I'm making cheese and ham toasties. Um, so they're ready to go on the grill. And now, you know, have a little fry. I always used to um, grill my cheese and ham toasties under the grill until Carol's was like, you just fry them. And it's so much better. So much better frying them. We went through a stage of eating cheese and ham toasties constantly. Didn't we? Yeah. It's like we refound them, and now we haven't had one for weeks. Have we, I Amber? know. I'm looking forward to this. I know. I'm actually really looking forward to it. Bit of perenaise in it. Yeah, they go for hot. Cows goes for mild. Have you seen this? Look. She goes. I'm my wipes up. I'm wiping away. Okay, you're not doing it now. No, she just like whenever the camera's pointing at her, she just stares at the camera. But like as soon as we Yay! look away, she goes and grabs. Okay. That's so sweet. Okay. Sorry, I'm in the middle of cooking. I can't talk. Sorry, goodbye. Before I have my cheese and ham toasty, I've got to show you guys the window that I've done up here. So the stickers actually worked really, really nicely. But on their own, so this one was lovely because it was quite big and the actual kind of effect of the stickers was so nice. But then the rest were just little snowflakes. Um, and on a whole, without the snow spray, it looked quite uh, bare. So obviously I had to go mad with my snow spray. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with snow spray this year. Um, so I'm gonna ask on my Instagram story as well why I do the snow spray. So the background snow rather than the actual snowflake being snow. Um, because I love the effect that that shows, which is just like a snowy window. It almost looks like you've drawn little snowflakes in it with your hand from the outside. So yeah, I love the effect. And with the sun coming through right now, oh, it's just, 
making me so happy and feel very, very festive. And I'm with my little glittery tree and all the other decorations. Good evening, guys. So it is a little bit later on now. Hello, look at you in your Christmas PJs. Look at these reindeers. Look at these reindeers. You saying hello? You giving a hug? Oh, wow, that's a lovely hug. Oh, and a lick of the camera, lovely. Um, so it's a little bit later on. Amber went down for a mammoth nap and James did as well. And my hair is honestly, I feel like a mess today. Um, ever since we had COVID, uh, James suffered a, lo a lot worse than me. And his, um, he's had quite a lot of kind of exhaustion and fatigue and everything that you can get for a long time afterwards. Um, so he has been napping and struggling a bit with that. Um, and I have just been wrapping some presents, guys. I'm putting all the presents that I'm wrapping in these baskets around the house so I can kind of make them into a decoration. And then, so I'm either putting them in baskets like this because they're like for friends or family or Amber or James, or also look, I've got my little mug up here. I feel like I need some lights over here. I'm just about to put some lights around this window because this window needs something to bring in a bit of warmth because we've got loads of lovely warmth here. And this, oh, let me put these two light, tree lights on. So we got these ones which have got lights and then that tree also lights up. So we've got a nice bit of lightage warmth going on around here. And yeah, so I'm either putting the presents in the baskets or kind of putting them out like that. And I've got some in the lounge as well. I've got some nice lights up here as well. And we've obviously got our wreath lights. So yeah, I've just been doing some wrapping, put out my pine cones. Did some random bits over here. I think I'm going to rearrange this bit again. Um, like I said, it's confusing because you probably would have seen the finished result already. Oh, and we moved this chair in here as well. Like by there. And I just feel like it's a really nice little setup now. I feel like that chair fits really nicely there. It looks a bit of a mess at the moment, but there's all my... Oh, are you huffing and puffing? Are you huffing and puffing over there? What are you up to? <laughs> okay, guys, so it is a little bit later on now. We are currently... Putting on a Christmas film, we're gonna put on the Grinch. We've got the tree in the background here. I don't even think I've shown you any decorations in this video. I mean, I know I've done the decoration video, but this is the lounge so far. Yeah, I so. absolutely love that little Christmas village. Do you? Yeah, it's so sweet. Oh, guys, I was so excited this year. I collected loads of ceramic houses and I wanted to make a Christmas village. James has been so complimentary. He's such a cutie. Oh no, guys, I've got some craft out and about. That next year, you'll know what you're going to do. Yeah, this has taken me like two weeks to put together, but next year I'll just know where everything goes. But yeah, we've got the Christmas village, loads of little ceramic houses, Christmas trees. Oh, I love it. And then we've got our stockings by the fire. We've got Christmas tree, presents, Merry Christmas, candles, another Christmas tree. I don't know why I'm giving you like a little bit of talk. Yeah, that doesn't look like the Grinch. I don't know if I've The Grinch. <laughs> little village. This is the next why day. Why is it loading Netflix? I'm not saying Netflix. <laughs> I'm saying The Grinch. <laughs> it's going well, guys. It's going really well. The Grinch. Um, and this is the Christmas tree. Christmas tree stand. Um, this is the Christmas tree that we picked up. Doesn't look, you know, the best right now, flopped against the wall. And also, oh. we still haven't painted where we took off the radiator. <laughs> so that should be interesting. Obviously we took the radiator just because we know that's our Christmas tree spot. <laughs> yeah, we didn't, but that does work perfectly. Last year, our Christmas tree died because we had our radiator there. Mm. Um, but yeah, this year, no radiator. So I'm thinking this is going to be thriving. I think this is my favourite tree yet, you know. Um, but we shall see once, once we've actually put it up. Sure? And we're going to, yeah. Have some red wine, watch a Christmas film, and watch. put up a Christmas tree. Yeah. Go on, boo. I'm just going to watch the film now. Oh. Because like, I just said, I'll probably be putting a ball on, and you'll be like... James hey, thinks I'm going to be... <laughs> Which I will be. I'm like always like, oh, let's do it together, let's do it together. And then he puts a ball ball on, I'm like, mm, no, that's, that's the wrong... part of the colour scheme, sorry. Wrong, wrong ball ball in the wrong place there, hen. No, it's gonna be great, we're gonna have a good time. So we're getting on with the Grinch. This is how my house is gonna look next year, guys. Oh yeah, that's it, just lighting up every inch of it. Oh my gosh, I just love the Grinch. The like picture that you get is just so Christmassy and festive, isn't it? Hello. <laughs> chip chop. Chip chop now. So Come this on, is James helping with the tree. I am. I'm um just being very 
loving of how well it's going. Thank you. As Karis goes along, it looks beautiful so far. <laughs> We're really happy. It is on a bit of a slant. Um, but we've never had a real Christmas tree. That isn't on that a That doesn't slant, like, I know. Get it in the stand not to slant? I know, but we're happy with, we've propped it up with some paper and we're happy with that for now. Oh, yeah. I feel like once the baubles <laughs> are on, give it a couple of days, you won't notice. You won't notice. No, you don't even notice. There's a tree. There. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I am sweating. It's about midnight. Oh, it's 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 midnight. Oh, restarted it because i just love the festive vibes we've got the fire lit as well i, I mean string up the baubles you put the baubles <laughs> on the trees so good, good tea, good tea. okay we finished the tree before anyone comments we are keeping an eye on the fire i know it looks like a fire hazard but i've literally turned it on for like two seconds just for festive pics okay it's going off now the stocking won't catch a light don't worry but if it does i have <laughs> You're gonna try and say something. Like I have you something. Have for the <laughs> oh well, that would dance. really help. Yeah, well done. Um, we've got the armchair over there because obviously I had to move the armchair from here. We have finished the tree. James did a really good job. He actually I did, to be fair. Okay, he did stay out of the way. He cheered me on, but then towards the end, like there was a pack of ball balls that loads of them are actually on the tree that didn't have. Who ever thought this was an idea, ever, to give you ball balls where you have to put the ties on yourself? Well, that's oh, why cheaper. I know, it but it should literally say on the pack because I would pay more if I knew. If you know what I mean. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah. He actually tied me a whole pack of ball balls um, with the string on, hey, so I got to. Enjoying the game in my hands, you know. You were very person. good. I was quite happy tying balls while watching the movie. Yeah, it was good. It was a good team effort, and we're really happy with how it's turned out. Um, it's a little bit wonky, but it's fine. And we've got loads of decorations from last year that we had, like Mr. and Mrs. from 2019. We got this one from this year. <gasps> So many cute ones. I love gingerbread. We've got our vlogging camera up there. That's my favourite decoration of all. Got a little reindeer. We've got Olaf, our fave. Yeah. Olaf. It's just, oh, laugh. Doesn't he make us laugh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this just feels so Christmassy with the tree in the background. We're ready, turn, aren't we? We're ready, We're for, ready Christmas. for Christmas. It's basically Christmas Eve to us. Happy Christmas. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks. We will see you in the next video. We love you so much, guys. Merry Christmas. Bye. Bye. Merry Christmas. Happy December. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>